All right, so in case you guys haven't heard, a brand new LR Super Saiyan feature Gohan and Trunks that exchanges into a solo Super Saiyan feature Gohan is coming to the JP side of the game very soon. And it's worth noting that this is the first appearance of a one-armed Gohan in Dokkan Battle ever, which is pretty significant in my opinion. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. Let's find out exactly what these guys do. But of course, before we do that, the first thing we got to watch are the super attack animations. So what you guys are about to see are the 12 and 18 key supers for the Trunks and Gohan. And then the exchange into just Gohan, the 12 key super for Gohan, the revival skill animation, and also the uh, 18 key super. So let me just rewind this a bit. Let's uh, pause the music, full screen this, and okay, enjoy. ここにいるんだ。みんな、ヒアだ。もう明日までには Okay, so <laughs> those are some clean ass animations, guys. I mean, everything from the exchange onward. So basically, just Gohan's animations plus the revival. Amazing. Amazing. Like top, top tier animations in this game, no doubt. Um, especially when you compare them to like what we just saw on Global the hit and super saiyan god goku animations i mean this is what i was talking about this is the quality that we've become accustomed to that we are used to that we're expecting from new units especially new lrs and uh, when you look at the goku and hit you're like what what were they thinking when they like went with this style right this is the style we want and this is i mean like i said it's amazing it's really clean. I mean, it's also kind of sad because, like, just, you know, this overall arc is really sad, right? But, um, I mean, they killed it with these animations, man. They really did. And uh, the, the Trunks and Gohan together are pretty good. But, yo, when you get to just Gohan by himself, that's, that's when it gets real, man. Like, yo, look at this. Look at the effects, man. There's so many effects going on. It's it's beautiful honestly it's just it's 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 beautiful and the revival skill too um the music when when that goes on yo, yo like got me hyped <laughs> it got me hyped so uh those are the animations guys i guess at this point i might as well just let it play out one more time so you guys can get a second look and then we'll move on to uh the details 
Of course, translations provided by the homie Goresh. So big shout out to Goresh for uh, those as always. And uh, there is the revival. And then we have the 18K Super right here. By, by the way, the uh, Android animations that we saw earlier are from the new uh, 17 and 18 that recently dropped on JP as well. So if you guys you know are global players and you don't recognize those, that's probably why. So, yeah, man, amazing 18K Super. I mean, that's just, that's too clean. Okay, anyways, let's move on. Let me uh, turn back the music. All right, and... Uh, here we go. So, oh, let's actually make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better. All right, so it's an AGL LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Trunks Youth Future slash Super Saiyan Gohan Future. So the slash, of course, is for the exchange. So uh, their leader skill is Connected Hope or Bond of Master and Disciple. E plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100 and 50%. 12k super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. An 18k super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. So their leader skill does not lead any new categories, which is uh, fine in my opinion. And then their passive is remaining warrior's mortal struggle. Attack and defense plus 150% randomly changes a type of key sphere other than AGL two AGL key spheres when HP is 58% or above. Gain an additional defense plus 58%, chance to perform a critical hit, and reduces damage received by 8% when collecting five or more key spheres, and then gains an additional attack plus 58%, chance to perform a critical hit, and reduces damage received by 8% when collecting five or more AGL key spheres. Launches an additional super attack uh, when collecting eight or more key spheres. So as you can see, their passive is very much dependent on how many key spheres you can get. But the good thing is they are an orb changer, so that makes it much easier to consistently get a good amount of key spheres. I mean, eight is still pretty high, I would say. On average, you're not going to be getting eight key spheres too often unless you bring a second orb changer or a rainbow orb changer. But uh, it's not too bad. Getting five or more AGL key spheres basically gives you an additional attack and defense plus 58% and also 16% crit chance and 16% damage reduction. And then every once in a while, you'll get that guaranteed double super with eight or more key spheres. So yeah, I would say really good before the exchange, but they get much crazier after the exchange. So the active skill is the exchange able to be used once three turns have elapsed from the start of battle and HP is 58% or less, once only. So three turns is not bad. Um, the HP restriction could be better, but I understand it's 58% because, you know, that's just kind of the theme of the card. So uh, yeah, 58% or less, not too bad actually. It's not too bad. So three turns, 58% HP restriction, and uh, you'll exchange into Super Saiyan Gohan. Their links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Infighter, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and legendary power and their categories are connected hope bond of master and disciple hybrid saiyans future saga android slash cell saga joint forces all out struggle and powerful comeback now once you exchange into super saiyan future gohan the 12k super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and the passive is attack plus 258 percent that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of attack and then key plus eight for five turns from first appearance performs an additional super attack when collecting eight or more key spheres reveals the location of enemy super attacks when hp is 58 percent or less revives with 85 percent hp recovered when this character is ko'd once only once this character's revival skill has been activated, gains key plus 5 and defense and damage reduction plus 58% for the rest of the battle. And for the links, Saiyan Warrior Race and Infighter become Super Saiyan and Cold Judgment. So, um, it took me a second to really just process exactly what this passive was. And once I realized exactly what it did, 
I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> like, this guy's too broken, man. I mean, the revival skill is guaranteed, essentially. Like, it doesn't matter what your HP is when you get KO'd. You could be at full HP and you get, you know, KO'd by a single super, right? You will get that revival skill as long as it's Gohan that's KO'd and you recover almost full HP, 85%, so close to full HP. And after that, you get a permanent Q plus 5 boost and permanent 58% damage reduction and also 58% defense, so a little bit more defense for the rest of the battle, which is just crazy. I mean, that is so much damage reduction, you know, for, for the remainder of the battle, so it's going to be much harder for him to actually get KO'd right from there. He becomes so much more tanky. And uh, in a sense, you actually want to get KO'd just so you can get that damage reduction, right? So, um, yeah, he is really, really strong, man. I mean, of course, go back to the 258% attack. That is so much attack. And he still gets the guaranteed double super with the uh, eight key spheres or more. And of course, with hidden potential investments, you can get a third super. So he potentially could be launching up to three supers a turn, but two of them could be guaranteed. And uh, the ability to see enemy super attacks is no doubt one of the most useful skills in the entire game. He also has that. And yeah, I mean, I just really like the design of this unit, man. I think it's amazing. I think it's borderline broken. Maybe it's just straight up broken. Um, it's hard to say exactly based on you know, on paper details, I gotta see them in action, but yeah, they look pretty broken. <laughs> they look pretty, pretty busted. So that is the LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Future Trunks. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them uh, from both the animation perspective and also just the unit details perspective. They look amazing to me. I really have nothing negative to say about this unit and uh, I can't wait for them to come out. So that's it guys, that's going to be today's video, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.